So it's Thursday, the 1st of December, 2022. I think, uh, I feel like we're hurtling towards Christmas very quickly. Um, it's going to be a busy few weeks for me uh, before Crimbo Day. But here's the reason why. I am working for and with Hodge Hill College again. And um, it's it's a remembrance, a remembrance day mosaic project, uh, which was meant to start a few weeks ago, but uh, can't, had to be postponed because of exams, etc. So, um, Cass, the uh, art teacher that I work with quite regularly, um, sent me a little drawing, um, and I printed that off, and and created this design which is which is funny really because actually he was inspired by the flowing lines that I use and the kind of style of paintings that I've um, created etc etc and uh, he's done a little com you're sort of inspired by me so I've now you know reversed it and put it from his inspiration onto the board so um, and of course, it'll then progress towards the year nines working on this and adding their input. Um, so this year, it's going to work out really well, actually. I've given it enough blank spaces for the youngsters to actually um, have their say in how the design should go next. Um, yeah, and um, I've got... Poppies overflowing out of um, hands and that's going to look really quite nice. I thought I'd put a, an image like a Mendy design, a henna design of heart, a heart with petals around it. And then I didn't know whether to put a poppy here because that way the hands would be, you know, um, camouflaged by the poppies. So... I might ask the, the youngsters if we should have another poppy here because um, we could have some Mendy designs, you know, in red with um, flesh colour on, on the rest of the hands. So it gives us enough wriggle room to have decision making. And the poppies are, a, are going to be a combination of red poppies and white poppies um, because I'm always in favour of using the white poppy in my own... Um, pacifist take really of Remembrance Day where I remember the remember the people that have died in conflict but uh, I don't th I don't believe in war really I don't think war solves killing people it doesn't really solve a problem um, it's negotiation really but anyway anyway enough of that um so these these are the designs and the way I did the designs was Drawing the designs onto acetate, clear acetate. I just I just sketched them with um, just an ordinary pen, not a permanent pen. So I can you know wipe this. I can wipe this off and reuse this uh, piece of acetate. And then overhead projector. You see overhead projector. Old school. I'm very old school. So uh, I really like this projector because it it just helps me to map out what the designs are going to be and then um, change it because like I always say it's always the guidelines that start you off so I'm really pleased with that um, the boards the boards I'm using are a cementous board uh, a combination of cement and polystyrene I believe um, and mesh um, they're external grade. They've been given to me by a friend of mine who's a builder. So I know that it will work outside. Um, and they'll be drilled onto the walls using um, these washers as well. So um, what I'm thinking of doing is not applying the washers now. I'll do that once I get the mosaics back. And if I have to chip out some of the tiles so that I can apply, you know, glue the washers in. That would be the best 
action because um you, you just don't want <laughs> you don't want the washers to be mosaiced over whilst we're working <laughs> so and and i'm working with year nines at hodge hill college for two days in a row so next wednesday thursday um yeah so that's going to look really good i've got potential as well of using some bling so we'll have some nice glass um squares for um a bit of sparkle for this this lady's hands um so they'll act like bangles you see so yeah so there's lots of potential there i'm going to do some prepping on what um materials to use as well so yeah so that's the next project in hand Okay then, see you soon. Bye.